Welcome back. I'm not sure if it's recording. I hope it is. I'm having an issue with the the recording process right now. But I'm gonna start off with my dark cry. He had no additional. I have no additional. Let's see if he has anything extra. I'm just gonna put this dark energy down and go from there. There's Trubbish. Again, this is one of those decks where I'm lucky to have a resistance to Psychic. If he uses his Dark, or if he uses his GX attack, he's already hurting like crazy. He only has his one Trubbish right now. Now, this... Okay, we're looking at quite a low build up. Let's get going. Ultra Ball for Lele. Oh, we're playing a budget deck. Doing 10 more damage. Alright, I can either use Ultra Ball and get rid of the Energy Recycler, the Salazzle. Try and get something going. Which I'm going to. We're going to put... We got one Salazzle in there. I got both Dark Rise. We're going to put the Salanda down. We're not going to use, because I don't want to keep wasting these, giving him a chance to kill me quicker. Right now he's only doing 20 damage. There's a Dark Cry, which is nice. Now all I need is an Ultra Ball. Next turn I can hit him for 80 damage. Right off the bat. If he doesn't end me, I can hit him straight off the bat for 80 damage and not have to worry about it. I've got Rattata back here who can do 30 damage, which isn't much, but he's got to build up to that Alolan Radicate. He really needs that Radicate to go somewhere fast. He's probably pulling out Radicate now. Knowing that Darkrai is resistant to either that or he's going for the Garboder with no abilities. Tapu Lele! What are you gonna bridge it? Set this thing up? Sycamore? And we'll see. Bridget wouldn't be a good card to get right now, but I could see him using it, trying to fill the backboard up. This is a real big budget deck going on. Guzma! Guzma, baby. Gonna put up Oranguru. Gonna put Redicate or Redicata up with Oranguru. Maybe Ability Lock Me. Oh! That's different. I'm not too worried about this Rotata right now. Doing 30 damage. Not that big of a deal. I'd rather build up my bench. And go from there. Especially with that bursting balloon on. I don't want to have to worry about him. Now if he gets to eradicate and gets an item attached to him. He can do some serious damage, but right now he's only doing 30 damage. He could be setting up for Trasher Lance, but as of right now, he would only be doing 20 damage to my Darkrai. There's the end. Thank you. 
Because you've gone through more cards than I have, bud. And the kicker is... <coughs> Although I don't want to do this, I'm going to. I'm going to Ace roll it up. Put him back on the field. Get rid of this thing. And that thing. I'm going to give him that. Give myself an out. And get rid of this Rotata. Starting me off decently well. Another field lord. Don't want to use it. Really don't want to use that. So right now... He can do, with Trash Lance, he can do 40 damage, which isn't much for what he's got going on. So, I'm probably going to end next turn so I can get more cards after I use that double colorless on probably this dark card right here so I can retreat him if I need to. If I need to. Ninja Boy! Who's coming in? Oh, he brought Rattata and Eradicate with some bodybuilding dumbbells. Close time to get this sucker out, and he's going to be hitting me for what? It's like 67, no, 60 damage. So, two hit kill. Uh, bodybuilding and float zone. Now, I kind of don't want to get rid of that yet, so I'm going to hold off on the supporter. Well, we've got, what, three of them? Uh, I'll get rid of it. We'll have a little slower setup. Or the setup I exactly want. No, it really doesn't matter right now. I'm going to hit him for the 80. He's got to get another item down. If not, Salazzle's coming up with, uh, with a vengeance to knock him down. There's his bodybuilding. It doesn't really matter. I've got my Salazzle down here. That's why I kind of have this one of card in there. So I can come in, if need be, with a powerful hit. Super fast, super hard. I've got 10, 20, 30, 40... 4 times 2 is 80 damage that could go on this Salazzle by Trash Lance, which it still doesn't matter. It's a one hit KO pretty much at this point. We're going to look for an N. <clears throat> Actually, how many dark do I have so far? Just one in there? I'm going to go for a second more. I got five dark energy left. We're going to second more. I'm going to get this guy into this card. Bring him back with restoration. I know it's kind of suicide for me to do this, but I want to get rid of the two fire. Not going to worry about him attacking, but I need to have something in case he does. No energy, which is a sad sight for me. And we're going to... How much left do you have left? He's got 80 life. We're going to make sure he can't do anything. Another max elixir, which is perfect for this dark right down here. 
Now he really needs that trash lance, which will probably get me close to death. Four, five, six, seven. So 140. He's probably going to get the Garbooter. <clears throat> going to use my Cyril already. He's playing Puzzle of Time too, what? It won't kill me. But it'll get awfully close. He's gotta get the Garbodor. No abilities, Garbodor. Dang it. Cause he knew I was coming in with this. Goodbye. Now he doesn't have another way of really doing too much damage to me right now. He can get this Rattata up with an item and do a little bit of damage, but it's not going to be enough to kill him off. And I've got this Darkrai GX in the background ready to take out pretty much anything else coming up. Now, if I can get that Garbodor to come up front, that's a happy day for me. Because he's only going to do like 60, 60 damage right now. Actually, he could do more if he gets the Choice Band. He could do 90 damage. Which hurts. And I've used both of my field blowers already, so that's gone. Let's find the DJ. Two. I'm not too worried right now. So we're gonna hit him. Get him out of here. These simple one prize cards are a little rough to fight against. But at the same time, he's gotta have a Rattata that evolves to eradicate with. Oh, enemy down to two. That's not cool. With an item. See, he's got to get an item on top of that. Does he get the Raticate? Doesn't look like it. How many Raticates does he have in the discard? He's got two. So he's doing pecking damage right now. Now I do 250 damage next turn with Acerola. He has to knock me out, otherwise it is over. Plus on top of that, it's already over. So he can only do 100 damage on my Darkrai, and it's over. Like, I've already beaten him. Come on, bud, see the end! See the end! Tapu Lele, who can't even use an ability! You forgot that, didn't you? <laughs> He's down to three cards. He's got three turns to beat me. Which is nearly impossible with what I have set up here. Okay. What, are you gonna Kuzuma?
I don't need a goose, my baby. One thirty. If he doesn't retreat, Lele, it's pretty. He he should see it's over. Puzzle of time. Does he have? He must have the second one to get what he needs out of here. But I only have one prize card left. He's got two turns to do it. Can he do it? I doubt it. I got 19 cards left. I am not even working hard at this. Salazzle's calling. He's thinking real hard what to grab out of this discard. <laughs> I'm guessing he's gonna grab an item. Bodybuilding dumbbells. He's going off of a low to no energy deck, which works out for him in his favor if he can do what he needs to. Now he's got to get Lele out. Let's see, the Ace Rolla does nothing for him right now. Does nothing. Trying too hard, bud. You're just trying to keep your deck built up. <laughs> trying too hard. Gonna ace rolling him up. Send out my buddy Orangaru. Get rid of that stuff. How much energy do I have? I've got enough dark energy and other fun energy to work with. Why can't I restore him? Oh, he's probably already been restored once. Let's see what you can do. It's Rolla. Pick him up. Oh, pick him up. <laughs> Can't really put him back down.
this is the kicker is who can deck out first ain't gonna be me have I used both of my trust six more yes I have I only run two for that purpose don't want to keep losing Pokemon I'm playing the tag game right now. <clears throat> I know it's a cheap way, but we're gonna we're gonna deck him out. So they have two prize cards to go. I only need the one, but at the same time, I'm just gonna cheap shot him. You stopped abilities, which stopped you from doing a lot of stuff. Like grabbing Ace Rolla earlier. Full art. And without getting rid of this Alter the Moon, you're kind of stuck with uh, backtracking back and forth. But you have two turns, bud. Organizing your two cards. <laughs> oh, that was a dumb move. That was a really dumb move, dude. You have no idea how dumb that was. You got one card left. What you going to do? You've already used your GX, which was the dumbest thing you could have done right now. Because you aren't looking at this baby dark cry. Put, go ahead. Yeah, put him back up. I don't care. I don't care. This guy's going to kill him. I'm, I'm not even going to let you deck out. Because you were dumb. That was so stupid. You were paying attention. You have 160 damage, right? I'm not even gonna like waste your deck out like you, you have a good deck but you don't have to die goodbye that was a long one it was tough okay dark eyes dark raid clutch took out that reticate with that bodybuilding dumbbells you did 160 which, guess what? Dark Raid after you use your GX does perfectly 160. So, another good one. Again, liking this Salazzle build. It's helping me a lot. There's a lot of Salazzle going on. That that GX Salazzle clutch in that game kept me going. And we're, we're just moving along on the ladder. So, hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.